Say we want to do something with the center point programmatically. First go to the tools menu and then click VBA editor. This will bring up the VBA IDE which stands for Integrated Development Environment. Edit the default module and I'm just going to put in here just a couple of lines of code which basically define a subroutine, the main subroutine. And then the next two lines will basically declare a document object and set it to the currently open document in Inventor. I'm now going to debug the document. The shortcut for this is F8 to step through the code line by line. Now you see after I've stepped through the set O doc equals this application dot active document line you'll see that in the locals window down the bottom I've got access to all the information that's stored in that inventor file in the assembly. This is all the raw data that makes up everything about that assembly. So you can see there that there's a folder or what looks like a folder, it's actually a collection called workpoints which contains a workpoint that has a name center point. Now if I trace this hierarchy all the way back up to the top you'll see that I can get from ODOC to component definition which I'll do in the code now so we're going to declare a work point and then set it So you saw before that it was part of the component definition. Now here we have a problem. For some reason I can't find component definition. This is just something you need to know. Because we declared it as a document, it doesn't know whether it's a part document or an assembly document or a drawing document. So to get to the component definition I have to declare it as either a part or assembly document first. So you can see the component definition is there, but we just need to change that to assembly because it's an assembly that we're working in. So now we can access the component definition and inside that component definition there's a work points object collection and inside that we can go and find a particular item which in this case is the zeroth or the first one in the collection. And we're just going to pull through the name. Now we're going to display a message box and we're going to grab just the name from that center point. So now when I step through the code you'll see a bug. Let's just sort that out. Looks like I've picked the wrong item. Number one, let's try that. Ah, there's our message box and it has the center point name. So this should give you some idea of how you can use VBA to interrogate that model.